This is experiment number seven today, and objective of this experiment is to find coefficient of static and kinetic friction. Actually, we have two experiments. The second part is to find spring constant of a unknown spring. Actually, we will give you here three springs and they have different qualities so their spring constants will be different so let us first go to the experiment number one to find coefficient of static friction for that to do the experiment actually you pull a trolley on the table and we pull trolley with some weight so that trolley has a weight for weight you need masses you need computer and you need recorder, some device which will send the data to the computer. So the theory for this, as you know from your classroom, frictional force is directly proportional to the normal force. You want an equation, frictional force is mu, which is coefficient of friction, Fm. This here is this time general. You know that normal force on the table is mg, Fn is mg. Now, what will be static friction? Mu s will be the force divided by force of friction divided by normal force. Okay, so uh, now for kinetic friction, you have mu k, which is equal to the force of friction divided by normal force. Okay, so now you need you will observe these forces by observing the curve on the computer screen when you pull smoothly the trolley with the weight. Typically curve will be like this. You, you see computer will plot this force here and time here. Now as soon as you pull the trolley you will see this up peak and then this will flatten out like this. So select a flat, flat portion and highlight this. Computer will give you number and this number will be mu k. Okay. So same thing you see the peak here this peak is coefficient of static friction mu s. So you highlight this portion, computer will give you the number on the screen, you record that. That is static friction and this is kinetic friction. So uh, this experiment, uh, we will, uh, data is provided so you can uh, see and uh, you can calculate and you can do the graph. Now part two. Part two is a different experiment and it is about spring force. You see, if you have a spring and you can extend the spring, then spring force we can realize. This is normal position of the spring. So this is normal length x naught. Now, if I want to extend this, then x, with some extension spring looks this. This length here is after extended is x. This is length x. So this is x naught and this is x. So what I need is the extension. How much it has gone up from the normal. So what you will do is you will record force is directly proportional to the extension. Extension I am recording as x. So f is directly proportional to x f is equal to kx or k the spring constant is equal to force divided by x and unit of force is newton unit of x is meter so this is newton per meter will be the unit and do this in si unit you may be recording data in centimeters but convert that centimeter into meter and then you can get the spring constant k in newton per meter now we will give you three springs for each spring plot one graph. So you have actually three graphs, but you can plot three graphs on the same paper, on the same page. That means three lines on the same page. You don't have to have three graph papers for this one, but you will get three lines, three slopes, and three force constants, okay? Now slope will be K is equal to delta F over delta X, Newton per meter, okay? Now you have another part in this experiment and that part is this, you will compress a hard spring and you will find a spring constant the same way. Uh, how much is the compression and you will do this again. Slope is equal to delta F over delta X, 
uh, we will give you the data and you plot the graph. This graph you should plot on a separate graph paper than this one. I think this is over. In friction experiment, first we press this button so that it can record. This is the masses and trolley. I will pull this trolley smoothly and then this will record both static and kinetic friction. So initially when I pull, it is high, it is a static friction. You will see the big peak and then it will smooth out. So I pull, pull it smoothly, that's it. And you can see the curve on the screen. This is the highlighted portion. This highlighted portion is giving you kinetic friction. If you highlight this one, this will give you static friction. All right. In a spring experiment, you will measure force. Computer will give you force. So you have to press here this button so that recording can happen. And the number one thing you do in this experiment is measure the normal length of the spring. This is unstretched. So unstretched length here is from 0 to 22. I see 22 centimeter because this you will need later. So once you have measured this one, then after that you can measure the extension. So for extension you can put it like this. This is 0 here or 1 here. You can see on the centimeter scale. And then suppose I want to extend it 10 centimeter. So you press this and you extend to 10 centimeter. So it was before 22. So it should go up to 32 centimeters. So 32 centimeters is this length. You count from here. Count from the end. Don't count this one count this one okay so this is here 32 centimeter is here so for 32 centimeter corresponding force you will get from computer yeah is 0.6 newton ignore the minus sign okay so 10 centimeter extension extension means the length here is 32 32 minus 22 that gives you 10 centimeter and 10 centimeter over there is force 0.6 Newton. Now I increase the extension any arbitrary look force is increasing. I extend more force is increasing. Continuously I am increasing extension and force is increasing. You can increase extension up to the elastic limit. Every spring has an elastic limit. You cannot extend more. If you do extend more then spring will not come back to the normal position. Okay. So that's it. I think instruction is over.
All right. Uh, in this uh, compression experiment, we have two springs. This is the light spring and this is the stronger spring. We will compress both, say point, uh, something like 1 centimeter or half centimeter, 1 centimeter, 1.5 centimeter like this and we see the corresponding force on this counter. So uh, I press the button first and then I will press this one. So one compression and you see the force over there. See I compress more and force will increase. You see the force has increased. So when this is done you remove this spring and put the other one and do the same thing.